Hey guys, welcome back to Shin's Farm. Now, this episode we're going to be building a storehouse out of all of the lime wood and lime logs that we got from our new orchard. And we're going to use the storehouse to store all of the stuff that we've got kind of ramshackly, kind of unsorted in the chest inside our house. We might also build a sorting facility inside it if we want to hook up a quarry or something. Also, we're going to be looking at tree breeding in greater depth and then looking at redstone circuitry for making redstone conduits. So let's go. So, one of the big problems I've been having since day one, pretty much, is inventory space and remembering where things are. It's my own fault, really. The key to starting anything in Minecraft, even a farm, is having a good sorting system so you know where to place things and have enough space to store all of the things that you're going to need later on in your project, whatever you're doing. So with that said, I decided to flatten out the hill behind the wheat field and get to work building a storehouse. Now I told you guys that I wanted to try out the lime wood and lime wood planks from the trees in our new orchard. So that's the name of today's game, a lime wood based storehouse. I stuck the logs down as framework and then dug out the mud beneath to put down some lime wood plank floors. Now once they were in, I started to build cobblestone step walls and prepared to raise the roof. Now lime wood is very similar to birch, but there are slight differences in colour and texture that you can't really see until you put them next to each other. And as the sun sets and the rain begins to pour, I start work on the roof. I wanted the roof to be much shallower than the other roofs that I've built. Typically barns and farm buildings don't have very steep peaks because the buildings themselves are so wide and massive. And this barn is no exception. I'll need a lot of space inside this building if I'm to fit all the chests inside. Another consideration is the idea that I might build a quarry. Yep, you heard me, a quarry. I'm, th I'm, you know, I'm tired of mining and having to collect all the materials I need, so something to do that for me would be a real godsend. So room for the pipes and a makeshift sorting facility is something I might think about adding to the storehouse eventually. I went for a two-tier approach with the building. I'm not sure there will be enough space for two floors, but the extra space added in the roof in the middle will be perfect for the pipes to do the sorting and remain hidden from view for the most part. So there's the completed building with a custom sign as well. And there you go, so now it's on to tree breeding. Man, what a cool build. Okay, let's go and check out the storehouse, see what it looks like. Oh yeah, it does look amazing, doesn't it? And check out that sign, oh yeah. So, with the storehouse built, I'm gonna have to get all my stuff that's congesting my pack. Well, no, I've emptied my pack right now, but I've got a bunch of stuff in chests up there that really does need sorting quite badly. However, for the time being, I've got a pack full of grafters and lots of extra space and check this out oh yeah you now you may have seen this in the flyover but because I've been uh, I've, I've left my bees working away we're, we're not the only bees that have been busy little bees our actual bees have also been busy little bees so look at this look at all these graftable leaves so I'm gonna go around with my grafter get some leaves get some cool new saplings and come back to you at the end and we'll take a look at what I've managed to forage so let's go so here's how tree breeding works now you have your four core trees, your apple oak, your birch, your spruce, and your jungle. Now when these two trees mingle with each other, there is a small chance that you will create a new tree. So let's imagine you put oak and birch together and they pollinate together. The bees do their magic and they mix with the leaves. And there is a 15% chance that when they do that with oak and birch, that you will get a silver lime. Now, likewise, for hill cherry, if you mix birch and silver lime, or oak and silver lime, there is a 10% chance for each of those that you will get a hill cherry tree. And then when you mix cherry trees with silver limes, there is in turn a 10% chance that they will create a common walnut. Now, the tree we want is the yellow moranti. This is where the mahogany wood comes from. And to create a yellow moranti, you need a kapok and a myrtle ebony. Now to create a kapok, you need a jungle and a teak. And to create a teak, you need a jungle 
and a silver lime. And then on the other side, to create a myrtle ebony, you need a teak and a kapok. So following this diagram, you can see exactly the trees we need to breed. So we need to set up our bee pens to have jungle trees, silver lime trees, and when we get them, teak trees. Okay, we've got a bunch of saplings, but my inventory is already full. So I'm going to see what we got so far and then head back and get the rest of these leaves that are, that are yet to be to bash, to be bashed with the grafter. Okay, so, oh, what's this? A hill cherry, oh yes, I knew I saw something pink when I picked it up, oh, that's awesome. We're gonna have to have our, our very own cherry field, for sure. We've also got bull pines, mundane larch, silver limes, red spruce, jungle, apple oak, oh, that sucks. And that's about it. All right, so the hill cherry is the only new cool tree, but that is super cool. So let's put these other saplings back in the chest and, uh, and I'll get back to grafting. Right, so it looks like that's it so far for what we've managed to forage. And I've explained to you how tree breeding works. So we're going to chop down all the trees that we've got up here and try and engineer our way down to the yellow moranti and for getting mahogany wood. So let's go. Right, so check this out. We've got a clean slate now. All the trees are gone. Let me just finish up by bashing some of these logs. And uh, well, that one's quite high, actually. Can I reach that? Oh, yep, yeah, but I can't reach the one above it. I have to nerd pole up a bit. Right, so we've almost got a clean slate now. Uh, let's go and pick up all these saplings and put them back into the uh, into the forestry chests over here, the, the, the tree chests. And let's see if we picked up any cool new... Oh, yeah, yeah, check this out. The large wood has this weird, softy flesh center. And the wood it makes is kind of like a light pink. So I'd like to use that light pink on some kind of building at some point. Right, so let's put these saplings back in the chest. Silver birch, silver lime. Oh, teak! We've got a teak tree! Oh, yes! So we don't need to worry about getting that step in the breeding chain. Okay, sweet. So we can go from there. Now let's... Oh, it's getting, getting late. Let's go and have a sleep. Okay, so my chart says... To make kapok trees, we need teak and jungle. So, to make ma mahogany trees, yellow morantes, we need to mix kapok and myrtle ebony. And to make myrtle ebony, we need teak and kapok. So, kapok is the one thing holding us back. So, let's engineer our area here. Oh man, it looks, it looks so clear without all these... Oh, look, there's some rogue leaves still waiting to despawn. It looks so clear out here without all the trees clogging it up. But, we need to put down some more saplings, and we need to get on the case of this tree breeding. So it's jungle and teak that we need. Let's find our teak tree. Now, I think we've only got one teak sapling. So we're going to have to find some bone meal. Luckily, I killed a skeleton last night. So we'll have to find some bone meal. Make that tree grow. And then... Graft the leaves to get some more saplings. Now, where did I put that teak tree? There it is, teak sapling. It looks the same as most others, actually. No, it's got a lighter kind of main leaves. So that's the one difference. So we'll need the teak tree. We'll put that down right in the middle. Just about here. Looks perfect. Now we'll go and get the bones from inside the house and make some, some bone meal and some extra grafters to go and graft the leaves from this thing. Right, so three grafters should do it. And I've got the bones for the bone meal. Now I wonder what this tree looks like. There's the sapling. Let's get the bones into my table. Oh, wow, you make loads of bone meal from bones. That's pretty cool. So, whack the tree. Oh, look at that. That's a cool kind of haunting grey. Now, I'd, I'd really love to get my hands on some of this wood, so we might have to make an orchard of teak as well. Now, let's get the grafter out. Graft some saplings. Do, do, do. There we go. Now, this should be plenty of saplings. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, 15 teak saplings. Perfect. So, I'll just get the axe out now. Check out this wood. See what colour wood planks it makes. Oh yeah, look at that. It's really kind of ghosty, kind of bluey grey from the wood there. Let's see what see what the planks look like. Oh yeah, look at that. It's kind of like a charcoal kind of clay effect on the wood. That's really cool. I'll store some of that for later. Now let's put these saplings down. And there we go. That should be plenty of trees for our breeding escapades. Now we'll just leave those to come up by themselves. Or actually, no, we've got plenty of bone meal, so let's just chuck them up ourselves. Oh, this one isn't growing. Why isn't it growing? Oh, there's leaves above it, that's why. Let's get those out of the way. There we are, one tree up. 
I think this jungle sapling's probably too close to this tree here. Oh no, it's just, just, just perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Look at those. They're so close. The leaves, they're going to mingle for sure. Put another jungle up there. Another teak there. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Another teak here. And there we go. Let's take a step back and look at what this looks like from a distance to see if there's good even spread of trees. And it looks like there is. Oh yeah, that's going to be perfect. It looks quite nice actually. I think when placing an orchard for aesthetic purposes, it's better not just to go with one tree, but to mix two that have complementary colours. Because that looks amazing. That looks really cool. Okay, so they're going to breed and that means we can get on with making our redstone conduits. So I've had a look at what I need for redstone conduits and it's, it's quite a lot of materials. I need, I've got the pulverizer, but I need a few more machines and a bunch more materials, including obsidian. And to get obsidian, I'm gonna need a diamond pick. And so I'm gonna need diamonds for that diamond pick. I need, I need a whole bunch of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put together a shopping list for me to go into the mines with in between episodes, get all the stuff I need and then come back and get onto those redstone conduits. But right now I've got these cherry tree saplings and I'm going to head over to the field and plant some of these down. I've got some bone meal too, so let's go. Now look at these. Oh, hang Whoa, hang on a sec. What's going on here? It looks like there's been a creeper explosion in my woods, but that can't be right. No one's been in my woods, have they? Who could have been in my woods to set off a creeper explosion? That's a bit weird. Okay, um, well, let's go to the bridge. Which field are we going to pick? Which one are we going to fill? with these cherry trees. Now, cherry trees are nice and pink. So I want to put these high. I think I'm going to put these in this field here, this nice big field on the peak of the cliff here. Oh, yeah, and look at these trees. Oh, they're so pretty. That's fantastic. Now I'm going to get the grafter out. Now I accidentally right-clicked on the grafters and made a whole bunch, like more than I'll ever use. So I'm just going to empty these trees of saplings with these things. And I'm just going to do them, use, use these grafters until they break because I'm going to get a ton of saplings from this anyway. And I've got the grafters to spare, so it's no problem. Right, so let's grind up these saplings and plant these babies down. Right, so that should be a plenty of trees down. And let's get the bone meal out now and start raising some trees. Oh, and I've run out of bone meal, but as you can see, Pretty much all the trees are down. The rest will have to grow by themselves. But oh, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh, I'll, climb the, I'll climb the honey tower, actually, and see what that looks like from a raised position. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. Look at those trees. Oh, fantastic. So, this has been the tree breeding episode. I've been Stin. Oh, and I'm wearing my space suit now. I wonder why that is. So this episode, we discussed tree breeding. We built, of course, the lovely storehouse, which is over there. Where is it? There it is, in the distance. With the custom sign as well, that looks pretty cool. Pretty swish. So I've been Stin. Thanks for watching this episode of Feed the World. Next episode, we're going to get down and dirty with redstone conduits. I'm going to get all the materials I need from the mine, and I'm going to go at this because it's super important that I get these redstone conduits so I can get my power pumping around my farm, and I'm not losing it all because of these crappy golden cables that we're using at the moment. So hit like and favorite and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.